Michael Douglas's acting to me is absolutely hilarious. Turn around, look at that. It's plump, it's juicy, it's three inches thick. Now, look at this sorry, miserable, squashed thing. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Falling Down from 1987. And I actually watched this movie and shot the review a little while ago. The review ended up having a lot of problems with the actual video file, so I ended up scrapping it. But this is definitely a movie that I really, really wanna review, I really do like. And I just did like my top 10 favorite movies that I watched in 2022, and this would have totally been on the list. But because I didn't review it, I didn't remember it as much, and I kind of forgot about it, unfortunately. So it's basically basically a guy going through the day-to-day -day life, the traffic, the work, all the BS, just the day in, day out, and he just ends up snapping. So many great scenes, so let's just jump into the pros of this movie. And the pros is that it's pretty much a cinematic masterpiece. I think like if you're somebody who wants to see every corner of cinema, this is a movie that you absolutely have to see. To me, it also inspired a lot of movies in the future, I think. You know, one of the movies I liked growing up was Office Space where he ends up getting hypnotized and he just doesn't care about his job and it's actually really hilarious. This is like the first movie of its kind and I felt like there were so many other movies after this that kind of borrowed from it but this is like the original not giving a fuck. I don't care about work. I don't care about anything. I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I would say the most memorable scene is when he goes into the fast food place but every stop this guy makes is just something you're gonna remember after you watch this movie. It's the initial liquor store scene. You got the RPG scene, when he goes to the army surplus store, when the guys try to hunt him down with the machine guns in the car. Epic scene after epic scene. I mean, almost every scene with this guy is just epic and perfect. I also feel like it's oddly relatable. I think a lot of people get fed up with the day-to-day -day BS. I think even more now because it's even more complicated and there's, you're just kind of in these crowded zones all the time. To me, it's just super relatable and it's crazy how old it is, but how it still translates to today. And these are just personal things that I liked about this movie. Uh, I liked that it had a lot of shots of the classic Venice Beach because I used to live closer to LA when I was a kid and Venice Beach is like right next to LA, so I would go there all the time. And I like watching movies that were filmed in the time period when I lived there. I don't know, it's just a personal thing that I like. You got lots of shots of Venice Beach, I like that. And this was also shot by Joel Schumacher, and I don't know if you guys watched one of my recent reviews, but Batman Forever is one of my personal favorite Batmans. I don't think that you're gonna love it. I don't think that everybody's gonna say that. In fact, some people say it's the worst Batman ever but I actually really like it and it was shot by Joel Schumacher. So I just really like seeing anything that this guy does except for Batman and Robin, but Batman Forever, perfect. Another little pro that I like about this movie is Michael Douglas's acting to me is absolutely hilarious. See, this is what I'm talking about. Turn around, look at that. You see what I mean? It's, it's plump, it's juicy, it's three inches thick. Now, look at this sorry miserable squashed thing. He's just not giving a fuck. I love the way he plays this. To me, it's almost hilarious. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons that I have with this movie. And the main cons that I have, and it's not like the worst thing in the world, but Robert Duvall is a detective and I think he's getting married and he, I think he might even be leaving the force. Half of the movie, you're dealing with Robert Duvall and these kind of basic things that happen in the police academy and him talking to his wife and reconciling and all these kinds of things. and it just wasn't as interesting as the stuff with the main character. It's not that I was the most boring thing I've ever seen. It's not like it just absolutely kills the movie, but it stops you from getting as engaged as you would have gotten with it. I love this movie. I don't understand anybody who gets bored with it. I try to get my buddy to watch it and he's just like, yeah, there was a couple good scenes. It just really wasn't for me. And I'm like, the only way that that's possible is with those Robert Duvall scenes. I love Robert Duvall as an actor. It's just these scenes are a bit slow. So anyways, guys, if I had to rate this movie, I'd probably rate it like in between an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. It's fantastic. I think that anybody who likes film films period needs to see this movie and even if you don't want to watch this whole movie 
Just go on YouTube and check out some of the clips. They're hilarious or really entertaining, stuff that you're gonna remember for a long time as well. Buy a try or pass. For me, this is a buy. I think this is perfect for anybody who likes all realms of cinema and wants to see all the furthest corners of cinema. This is definitely one of them, and I really, really like Falling Down. So anyways, guys, are there some other Michael Douglas movies you want me to check out? Let me know down below. Are there movies similar to this that I should also check out? Let me know that as well. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>